So, hello guys, Revolution, back with a fifth episode of the series. Last time you would have seen, I was quite hyper at the beginning, then I slowly calmed down. Um, I saw, I found myself that I knew that I was a bit hyper, so I tried to calm myself down without like telling the audience. But uh, yeah, um, as you saw in the last episode as well, we were struggling to get 8.5 million. Uh, we have 8.8 .8 currently. Uh, if you're wondering how I did that. I shall take you to transfer negotiations. Um, that's something I wanted to talk about. Uh, successful ones. CDM. Lucas Lever departed the club. Uh, his estimated worth was £6 million, but I was desperate to try and get the side or Berahino deal done as quick as possible. So I just accepted the first off they threw at me, which was £5.5 5 It turns out that I've, as I was looking through my club, I didn't need Berahino whatsoever. Um, he would have just been adding to them already too many strikers. Also, I looked at the plays that I was getting back on, on back from on loan at the end of the season as well. And uh, yeah, basically there was just too many strikers. Um, I mean, I. I don't really want to get rid of many of the strikers that I have already. Lambert is the only striker I can think who I want to get rid of. The rest I want to keep. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, I decided not to sign another striker um, unless one of them leaves, like Balotelli, Sturridge or anything. So, um, I decided I need a new centre mid to come in and help me um, fill in the role that... Lucas Slave has just left. Uh, he can play CDM and centre mid, so I can I can put him in CDM if I need him to, like a holding midfielder, or I can just keep him in actual midfield. And he is coming in at seven point five million. Um, I've just I've just got through to the contract offer, um, so I've I've sent one over to him. Uh, this is also so we'll see how that goes and plays out. Hopefully we sign him. I'm looking forward to um, having him in my squad. Uh, I've got decent squad depth, seeing as though I'm going to be in quite a lot of um, trophies and stuff. Don't want all my players um, having low energy and getting injured. As uh, Oh, I changed him out already. Ber Berina, in the last video, um, for uh, the last, not the last video, you wouldn't have seen it off camera, uh, that you would have noticed the next friendly was Rail. Rayo Vallecano, uh, that one there. Uh, we won 4-0. Uh, I'll tell you who scored as well, because I thought you'd like to know um, to see who's been on form in that thing. I accidentally put my second team out against them. I've been playing my first so they can try and bond. Accidentally left my second team um, selected in the squad menu. So, basically, it was it was something like that. That played against Vallecano. We won 4-0, which was more impressive than the rest of the games. Um, we kept a clean sheet, which was decent as well, especially Matt Ryan's first um, game as a Liverpool player. Uh, it, I know it was only friendly, but still kept a clean sheet, which is big, big news for us that he can he can defend against international teams. Uh, he can save, should I mean. And on to the goal scorers. Uh, first goal was scored by Barine. Lucas Leiva uh, scored his last goal for the club before he left. And Danny Ings got his debut goal. That was his first game for the club in a Liverpool shirt as well. And then Gerard came on off the bench. Um, basically, Danny Ings... Yeah, Danny Ings was playing. Uh, Gerard came on for Barina. No, actually, sorry, I tell a lie. B Balotelli came on for Barina because Barina got injured and he's now, unfortunately... Uh, if, yep, there we go. And he's unfortunately out for four months. So... The second team now, Balotelli's got uh, a stir role in there. So, as you can see, Southampton is the team we are playing today. So, I shall cut to when we start playing. So, yeah, guys, it's the first epi episode. <laughs> it's the first match of the season. And uh, the actual official Berkeley's Premier League season. And, uh, yes, so it is Southampton versus... Liverpool, I nearly enough said Blackburn for some strange reason then. At Anfield, there it is, it's showing Pjanic making his debut, heavily linked with Liverpool in real life. 
Supposedly, Brendan Rodgers has gone for a few meetings over to Italy to have with the club AS Roma and Pjanic himself. So, to get us started off, um, Marquinhos, I forgot, was also playing as well. And let's get started. Good knockdown to Henderson. Henderson's driving hard. Henderson, oh, and it's a brilliant save off the goalkeeper. Oh, is he, things are really heating up now. Sturridge is away. Cuts back inside onto his right. He's not good on his right. Oh, and it's a brilliant save again by Fraser Forster. This this five back with the wing backs does seem to be working. As I say that, Moreno mislays his pass to Sean Davis, I think it is. Or Stephen Davis. Um, Danilo, though, cleans it up. Can he play? Oh, Sturridge is off. Oh, where? I, I need to set offside then. Daniel Sturridge, finesse shot. Oh, he's been turned in. Own goal. What a shambles of defending. And it's not in. It isn't over the line. Goal? Goal? How's that a goal? That is not a goal. That still, when you further do the replay, was still not a goal. But anyway, it is 1-0 to us in th just 13 minutes in. Uh, and, not, and none of our players even scored it. Oh, silly pass. Ooh. Oh, what a ball to Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge, oh, and he's, ta he's offside as well. Unlucky. Nice effort, though, from Pjanic. He's not playing that bad, to be honest. I know it's only been 19 minutes, but he's not been playing too bad. Danilo on a storming run. Down the right. He's been taken out. He's been taken out. Is it a yellow? It's got, is it a yellow? Yep, it's a yellow card for Bertrand, Ryan Bertrand. First yellow of the season for him, unfortunately. Uh, Danilo steps up for the free kick. The person who won it. Um, I'm just going to go straight out. Smash this one with a bit of dip. Oh, it bounces just in front of Forster. Good save. Oh, bit of a mix-up with the defending. Sacco mistimes the challenge, and it's a free kick. I'm hoping Sacco doesn't do that too often, or they don't make mistakes like that, as they've been doing in real life, hopefully. Well stolen. Is he onside? Sturridge, he's onside. Oh, it's 2-0. 34 minutes in. Daniel Sturridge, what a goal. And that is what the instructions I told him to do. Pressure the back line. He's, all, he's been doing that in real life as well. Just getting in behind the defenders for when the defenders make a mistake. And he capitalises with his first goal in the Pre Barclays Premier League. Hopefully there is going to be more. As I say that, Pjanic tackles. Can he get his debut goal? Pjanic. Oh! It's still in play. Can anything come from this? I think Southampton have got this cleared. Yeah, they've got it cleared. Uh, unfortunate for Pjanic, he didn't get a goal there, but very clear. came very close to. Some nice slick playing from Southampton. It's to Jurique. To, uh, to Nathaniel Klein, well forward for a right back. Thankfully for me, though, it hits the side netting. Great turn by Gerrard. Great turn and great run. That's a free kick, I do believe. Oh, and Steven Gerrard has just been injured. He has literally just been injured as we speak. Philippe Coutinho, the magician. It's just... Oh, oh. Take a bow. Take a bow. That's it. Tell everyone to calm down. Yes, that was you. Oh, what a goal. That is why the, he, when Man United... I said Man United was being very cheeky because I know what he can do. <coughs> Unfortunately, Steven Gerrard has got injured. It is now telling me this. Steven Gerrard must go off. Um, oh, who am I going to bring on? Adam Lallana. I was I was just trying to think of a centre defensive mid, but then I realised I am playing him in a more attacking role. Is Balotelli on the bench? Yes, he is. Um, unfortunately, Gerrard is injured. Hopefully, it isn't far too long, uh, as it is his last season for Liverpool. And, um, yeah, so let's see if we can finish the match off. We should be able to, as we're winning 3-0. But there's some fancy play. Out to Schneidlin. Schneidlin just needs to put the ball in. Just close him down. Oh, Schneidlin. Oh, it misses. Misses Shane Long. 
And it's gradually cleared. Go on, Henderson. Great run by Henderson. Uh, I just wish... Oh, and that's a free kick. That's a free kick. Great player. Great player by Liverpool here. I wouldn't say this was really from far out. 33 yards. <coughs> the wall there, uh, doing a bit of a wall creep. Creeping forward. I see. This, the ref saw you, mate. The ref saw you. So we'll, we'll go ahead and go for a power again. Oh! Oh, it's not too far for Danilo. 4-0 in the first half. I think we're going to have to put the difficulty up here. This is too easy. This is too easy. Look at this. Brilliant goal from Danilo. So Danilo's got a debut goal. Uh, who else has got a debut goal? Um, and, and there it is. Game clip recorded from the Xbox. Uh, just because of how good of a goal it was. Uh, so, that's just that's the first half for you guys. Let's have a look at the match stats. And uh, there is some great match stats there for you to uh, feast your eyes on. Six shots, six on target. They've had only two, which is a bit disappointing uh, from the AI's perspective from, for me. Uh, we've not had the most possession, as Liverpool tend to do in the... In the, the normal, in real life, but I'm just happy with that shots on shots to on target ratio. We should have 100% shot accuracy. Yes, we do. They have 0% shot accuracy, which is unfortunately bad. So it looks like from I'll be upping up the difficulty from professional to um, world class. Hopefully, it doesn't make sure of that big of a challenge. Southampton are mounting attack here. Shane Long. He's just holding up the player. To Tadic. Can Tadic work up anything? Oh, oh he's done me the Nathaniel Klein. Runs it into, oh, that's got to be a foul. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to give that away, but unfortunately did. Let's see if Southampton can do anything from this foul. Free kick, should I say. They play it in, and nothing comes from it. They've really upped the game. I don't know why I pressed X, though. Uh, Nathaniel Klam with a ball win. Oh, and it's cleared again. And it's and it's Jurik, Jurik, or whatever his name is. I can't really pronounce his name. He's running into the corner. Schneiderlin's come in. Shane Long. Oh, it's 4-1. Oh, that was a great work goal. That was great. Great dummy by Schneiderlin. Victor Wanyama is just running through. Oh, he's run through the whole team. Oh, what a save from Simon Mignolet. Oh, that was just an unbelievable run by um, Victor Vaniyama. Vaniyama. Don't know why I did the, a bit of an accent there, pronouncing his name. That was just a blistering run. Can Oh, and it's another corner, I do believe, for Southampton. Yes, two corners in a row. Unbelievable pressure for, for Southampton, uh, from Southampton, should I say. And it's cleared again. Nothing mounts from it. Just making a quick change now, um, giving Sturridge a rest, and oh, who else can I bring on? I'm going to give Pjanic a rest as well for Jordan Rossiter. I'll give Jordan Rossiter a world, seeing as though we're winning 4-0, 4-1, should I say. Um, just to change things up, help us keep the lead. Um, also, Balotelli should give us the goal threat if we do, if they do come back and bring it back to 4-4. But playing like that, I don't think they will. So, it looks like world class is going to be the next level. Look at all those players. I said that it's working well. Oh, great tackle, Man Marquinhos. Oh, fantastic tackle. Great not to give away a penalty as well. And cheaply given away by Sacco to Schneiderlin, a player you don't really want to be giving it away to. Um, he's got Pele to aim for in the box. He's just come on. Is that Pele or was that Tadic? I can't really tell. But the 90th minute, Southampton bring it back to 4-2. I think it's Tadic. Yeah, it's Tadic. Tadic with a, with a brilliant ball. P Pele wasn't used Schneiderlin. That is why I said that is not a good place to give the ball away to Tadic. And there it is, guys. We have a comfortable 4-2 win over Southampton in the first game. 
Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to give it a like, um, comment where we can improve this series, and uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, to to help support it and grow it further. I've been the Revolution and Josh from said Revolution, and uh, peace, guys.